I'll tell you what, God is too good to leave us in this chaos that Satan, the enemy of our souls, has created all around us. God does not want to leave us there. He wants to refresh us in the midst of it so we can be strong and make good decisions, have our wits about us, and hear the voice of the Holy Spirit guiding us through it. Because the last thing God wants for all of us is to live life stressed out, driven by anguish, grief, wounded, afflicted, and in pain, running from one empty promise to another. No, 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 no. He wants to bring refreshment. Peter points to Jesus, and he says, I want you to know he's trying to refresh your life. Vacations are not going to be the answer. Some of us, we're going to have spent maybe $10,000, $20,000 on vacations sometime this year or next and say, oh, it's going to give me the refreshment. You're going to get a reprieve. But I've already talked with many people after they come back from those vacations and they left God out of that vacation. I'm just going to tell you right now, you're going to feel exactly the way you did before you left about two days after you get back. And God says, you know what? The refreshment doesn't require you going to Hawaii or anywhere else. You can have it in your own life right now with me because that's what I bring is I bring refreshment into your life. I think about a bike ride, our 106 degrees just earlier in the week. I'm out on my bike. I'm doing a 21-mile ride. And I get into the ride and I was at a spot, spot where I was just absolutely parched. I mean, I, I just dry. And uh, I remember taking a drink of that nice ice cold water out of my water bottle. And oh my goodness, it was awesome. It was so refreshing. And then I started riding again. And about 10 minutes later, I needed another nice, fresh drink of that ice cold water. It was so refreshing. Oh, it gave me energy for the next 10 minutes and then another 10 minutes and 10 minutes. And then I ran out because I didn't bring a second bottle with me, which I should have done. I'll do that next time for sure. Um, But here's, here's the thing. You know, during this whole time, of the COVID crisis and of course, all of the other social unrest that's going on in our country. I can tell you right now that I am taking time right now in my own life, not because I you know, just have luxury to do it, but because I absolutely have to. I'm taking more time now to refresh my spirit than I ever have in my entire life. And the reason is because you know what? It's just what's called for. Sometimes you need it every 10 minutes. Sometimes you need it every couple of hours. But I don't know what it is, but I do know this. The only way I'm going to be refreshed is when I allow Jesus to actually bring that refreshment into my life. And I hope that you're doing that. And here's my question to all of us. Are you an example for others of God refreshing someone? Are you an example to others of how God refreshes somebody to the people in your own home, your friendships, people in our church, your life groups, people that you work with, do they look at you and say, oh man, they're such an incredible example of allowing God to refresh them whenever it is that they're needed. That's just what they do. I mean, they're so good at it. And uh, wow, it's made such a huge difference in their life. Are you an example of someone who has allowed God to bring refreshment in your life? And that is exactly what we're called to, because I'll tell you what, we need more examples for people to follow. And then they will see what's happening in your life, and then they're going to want to do those things in their own life and recognize this is the very thing that God intends to do in me. Oh, it's what I want.